everyone, Stephen Stewart uh, on behalf of Stardust. We just put out a really interesting news release this past week on a geophysical target, uh, which is a coincident magnetotelluric as well as IP uh, survey completed on our McGarry project, which uh, is in Crookton Lake, we're right on the Cadillac Larder Break Fault. It's uh, really triple A real estate in terms of geography. The geology obviously has to line up. We believe it does, and so do anomalies. I mean, really, the bottom line is this needs to be drilled, uh, given uh, where it is, what we believe it is, and of course, the science has to back it up. It does, but look, it's uh, it's binary. Like either this is what we think it is, or it isn't. That is the game. These are the bets we take, but we do it based on well curated, well thought through science, which of course um, we do. I think we have amongst the best in the business on that. So I'm gonna walk you through what this all means. You can see right there in the purple, that's what we're after. It's uh, it's it's not at surface. I wish it was right at surface, um, um, which would make life easier. Uh, if it was, it would have been already been found. Uh, it's in, uh, what you see there is um, sedimentary rocks, about uh, three to 400 meters worth of sedimentary can't easily be seen by traditional or, you know, call it old school geophysics, but MTC is really deep. And we did this MT survey and something lit up underneath the sedimentary rocks uh, and what we believe is the ultramafic rocks. And the ultramafics are what uh, hosts the Kuratison, uh, as well as other deposits in the area. It's in the Tisdale package for you geology fans. Uh, that's what we believe it is. And it, and it really, um, lights right up we have to drill this it's right on the the larder lake cadillac def deformation zone that is a world-class uh, break by no definite no other definition it's where most of the gold comes out of ontario and quebec and stretches for hundreds of kilometers east to west so it's it's really quite interesting uh, i emphasize as a geophysical target but again these are the types of bets we make in this industry as explorationists. And we, when we see things lined up like this, uh, you go for it, you drill it. And, and with the prize, the size of the prize, I mean, you always have the size of the prize. This thing is big. Um, it's, as I said, it starts probably four or 500 meters, but you know, we can see it to a kilometer and it's wide. And if this is gold bearing, it's game changing. Um, if it's not, well, we fall back onto um, having the tailings, having existing resource, having other targets, and we move on. That's the business. But uh, this is going to get a lot of attention, I'm quite, quite sure. So uh, let's just walk you through it again. This is the McGarry project, just recently optioned by Stardust, owned by or Pap. Um, this is where we are. Again, in the shadow of head frames, we're in the Kirkland Lake Camp. It's dominated by Agnico Eagle there, but we have newer entrants like Gold Candle, which owns the Kerr Addison, which was an 11 million ounce producer at double digit grades. We're immediately adjacent to it, very strategic to them. Uh, we have the Upper Beaver, which is Agnico Eagle's next development in the area. They're, they're building it out. Uh, and then, of course, you've got Macassa on the west side there, Canada's highest grade gold mine. So, Look, in the shadow of head frames, folks, uh, this is where we are. Uh, this there, there are other deposits. Whether this target is a, is a gold uh, gold mine or not is to be determined. There's only one way to find out. Uh, but there's no question that there are other deposits to be found in this area. For example, Macassa. I think that's relevant. Macassa has been operating for 70 years. And then about 15 years ago, they, they found this, what they call the South Mine Complex, which is on a transfer fault, which is relevant. The, 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 the geology I'm going to tell you about on, on Armageddon. Uh, but it was right under their nose for almost 70 years. They never found it. And, and so that just speaks to the potential of this district, uh, which is uh, very, very interesting. I always talk about secondary and tertiary order splays, which come off the Cadillac. Um, this is a perfect example of that. That is the South Mine Complex, which is effectively what they're mining at Macassa, is a perfect example of that. So, uh, wonderful real estate, great geology, and then of course you got Barrick there, and you got Pan American there. So it's uh, you know we're, we're we're surrounded, as we say, by the big boys. Um, zooming in on McGarry, um, we've got uh, the McGarry deposit. It's got a resource. It's got what we call the Kerr Deep, which is definitely an area of interest, which has already been drilled. Um, but it's outside the existing resource. There's other areas. The Barber Larder Zone um, has a sort of historic resource and form of production, the mill zone, et cetera. Of course, our tailings, which is really interesting. I've highlighted those. But now we've got this new thing, uh, which uh, we haven't named the target. We should give it a good name. But uh, nonetheless, we will. 
here is what here is where it looks like it's never been drilled. Okay, that's that's a critical point. We completed this uh, survey. You can see all these lines here. There's about you know 15 some odd lines of geophysics. Uh, we did both M, uh, uh, MT, magnetotellurics, which is sort of new uh, geophysics, but very well accepted and understood. Uh, it sees very deep, much deeper than IP, which we also ran at the same time. I, IP is, is, is standard stuff, been around for decades and decades, but it only goes so deep. So if something is deeper than 300 or 400 meters, it doesn't necessarily pick it up at the end. MT does. And so we're going to run through the results. But again, here's the, the outline of the target in what we believe is in the ultra matrix. It's covered by sedimentaries. Um, and it's, you know, it's right on the break. I mean, this is this really is um, where you want to be. Uh, and this is what it looks like. This is about um, about 300 meters starts to light up here. This is the target I sort of run through. You go a little bit deeper, 500 meters, all the way down to 1,000 meters. I mean, I, I suspect the MT probably peters out at 1,000 meters. Um, you know, so I, I don't know how valid 1,000, deeper than 1,000 meters would be anyways, but you can still see its signature there. So, I mean, it's it's sizable. I mean, gold deposits aren't uh, an in situ basis that big, but this looks pretty big. Um, so it's interesting. We got to poke some holes on it. <clears throat> so this right, right you see here, this is the you call it the, the Cadillac Water Lake uh, fault here. This is what we call the McGarry. Where if you see my cursor, this is the McGarry fault. It's a what we believe is a transfer structure. Transfer going from this fault, sorry, this fault to this fault, and it's a transfer structure. That's exactly where the South Mine deposit lies. Again, that's Agnico Eagles Macassa. So uh, I won't get into geology. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Charles Baudry um, into a webinar with me to sort of really dig deep on the science. It's this is his um, interpretation, his view, his credit if if he's right, uh, and I hope certainly hope he is. But it's very interesting. You can see some drill holes here, but nothing nothing went into this thing. It's just they call it around it. They never went into it. They never went that deep. Um, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, so that yeah, that's just another look at it. Is again just different elevations of. of of the of the MT. This is the IP. Um, I think uh, I don't know if they paired it with, the, but this is a section. So here we're looking a bird's eye. Here we're looking at a cross section. This is line 2000. Just to sort of go back up here, this is line 1000. So you know 2000 is probably this line right here. And this is what it looks like subsurface here. This is the elevation, uh, 500 meters right here is the top. You can sort of see this is this is going to be. Uh, one of the faults here, I'm not sure which fault this might be, either the larder or the Cadillac, but you can see it sort of comes up there and responds. Uh, but again, this is the target here. Uh, looks pretty interesting. This has to be drilled. Uh, but this is the conclusions. So I'll let you read it for yourself. Uh, again, I'm going to go back uh, with Charles Baudry and bring him back and, and further explain this. But look, bottom line is this needs to be drilled. We're going to drill it. Uh, we might do some fine tuning, but uh, it's, it's actually fairly easy access. We're kind of excited about it. It's binary. Uh, let me be very clear. If 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 this is gold bearing in the ultra matrix, it's very significant. If it isn't, um, we move on. That's the that that's the business, folks. Uh, but this is supported by science. Anybody who owns this would drill it. It's a no brainer. Uh, time will tell what it is. And if if it isn't, hey, we go back and. They, uh, we've, we've lost very little, in fact, because we have a wonderful project, which is extremely strategic to many. We're in a world class camp. We've already got in situ resources. The tailings is you know, wildly valuable. Uh, and uh, I think there's other discoveries to be made along here in both in uh, McGarry, but also Omega. Um, and, and even uh, again, uh, not, not to sort of distract from the McGarry message here, but over here uh, west of Macassa, there's definitely something going on there. So so look, uh, Stardust. It's a bright future. I suspect this is going to get a lot of attention as people uh, start to understand what it is. So stay tuned for more. Can't wait to bring Charles Baudry on uh, to explain the science. In the meantime, this is Stephen Stewart on behalf of Stardust. You're listed under the symbol Z. That's right for you, David Boy fans. Stay tuned. Uh, more to come.